Yep, after we do daily reflections. Hey everybody, today is March Saturday, March 4th, 2017. Uh, this is Daily Reflections. I am Jeffrey W. Jansen, and this is my beautiful daughter, Gracie. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. And we are going to do a quick daily reflections tonight. And I apologize for not being on more with daily reflections. It was a very busy week. Um, I lost a couple of my friends a couple weeks ago. And then I got busy. And um, I just needed some time to reflect and read some books to everybody. And just, you know, figure out why I do what I do. And a lot of people in the meantime were asking me to pray for them. They were asking where I've been. And... Here I am, we are back again, and don't worry, I'm I'm back. Just every once in a while we need to take a break. Um, first off, what is motivating you? What have you done this week? What did you do throughout the week that made your life better? One of the very first things that you have to learn and that you have to know is that you matter and you're important. Okay? There are many people out there that need your help. But as my sister Anne has always told me throughout life. How can you save anybody else? How can you help anybody else if you're drowning yourself? You need to take a boo of yourself, and you need to save yourself. Now, 22 men and women every day are committing suicide. But it's not just the men and women in uniform. My heart goes out to them, but it's also people with depression, people that are lonely, people that get lost in their thoughts, and they cannot be found again. We cannot understand what depression is. We cannot understand what loss is to somebody. We can't understand what these men and women, you know, in uniform and these men and women on our front lines and our military, what they go through every day and what kind of demons they're fighting. You know what I mean? It's not one of the, nobody's business what their problems are, but you want to know what they need. They need you to be nice to them. They need you to get rid of all that negativity. You know, every time I turn on the TV now, all I see is negative this, negative that. I see one party mad at the other party. I see, I see, you know, it's like people are mad they lost. And so because they lost, they want to take other people's freedoms away. You know, I see this kind of stuff. Or I see somebody of one color going after somebody of another color because they're mad at because somebody of this and then this. And then I'm serious. It's getting old fast. What I try to teach my daughter and what I try to get all you guys is look, we all bleed red. Okay? Our blood is all red. Doesn't matter who you talk to, everybody's blood is red. Okay? We all have a heart. We all matter. We are all important. We are all creatures of God okay and if we sit there and we bully then we tell everybody not to bully and then we turn around and be the bullies then we are just hypocrites in our own world do not be a hypocrite sometimes it's better to say nothing at all than sit there and blaster and be negative as possible I'm guilty of it sometimes because I've got that Marine Corps mentality and somebody does me wrong one of my friends does me wrong you're right I'm gonna go and attack them not physically but mentally you know I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna say stuff now if they're military friends of mine they understand because they would do the same thing towards me but it's still not right that's why every day I try to work on my language I learn I try to work on my speech I sit there and read books every day Look, we have men and women, police officers out there every day doing their job to keep the peace in the streets. We're a system of laws, okay? We are a republic. We have laws. And these men and women, they volunteer to protect us every day. The firefighters volunteer every day to come out. And they're only making like $30,000 a year. And some of them, not even that. I just saw where one of the sheriff's departments around where I'm at, they got offering for starting out at 32000 That's not very much. These men and women deserve our support. They deserve our respect. Those nurses that are in the hospitals every day, that are in the nursing homes, that are in the schools teaching our kids. I'm talking about the nurses. They deserve our respect every single day because they're out there around the sick. They're helping us when nobody else will. Those teachers that are in school helping our kids, we're not in there. We need to give them our support. And when our kids act out, we do not need to be blaming the teacher, but we need to be teaching our children not to act out. Do not beat your children. Do not abuse your children. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is don't attack the teacher for them doing their jobs and trying to keep the classroom in order. These teachers deal with enough. Now, 
you got to understand the people that drive the ambulances, okay? The, the everyday truck driver, the guy that's over the road hauling our goods to services, these people need to be respected. How about our waste disposal uh, men and women that pick up our waste outside of our houses every day? Guess what? They're providing a service that is detrimental to our society in order for us to be clean and safe. The plumbers, the doctors, the lawyers, you know, the electricians, okay? The contractors, the... Uh, concrete pourers you know the guys that are sitting there putting our highways on the street and building our bridges everybody's got a purpose in life and everybody we need to go out there and we need to thank all these people and every single time we're rude to somebody in line because oh they ran out of asparagus or oh they didn't have something on sale just for me to say five cents you know some of these things we need to sit there and sit back and breathe and take a step you know because Life is precious. You don't know what somebody's going through and being nice to somebody, what it can mean to them. You don't know what child out there has been bullied or beaten or abused or neglected. And for you just to say thank you. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, what's going on? You don't know who's coming back from a war or a conflict or who just got out of the military to learn that their husbands or their wives been cheating on them and now pregnant with other kids. You don't, you don't know what they're going through and maybe they just need a friend. Maybe they just need somebody today. Don't be a temporary friend. Be a permanent, be a permanent pillar in your community every day. Be a better person every single day because if you can be a better person then that makes everybody else better. Look at your social media. How many negative things do you have on there? Why not read on your social media? Why not put something positive? Every time you think something mean in your head, put something positive on your social media instead of something negative. Okay? Every time you're thinking, oh, well, somebody wants to see me in my bikini or my Speedo or something else, delete them off your Facebook. Delete them off your social media. People, guess what? People need to learn to love us for our minds. Our bodies, you know what, they get old, they wrinkle. I go to the veterans' home and I see some of the nicest people over there. And they're not there with their bodies anymore, but their minds are still there. One of my best friends who I just lost last week had muscular dystrophy. Okay? Now, was he a stellar person who had these beautiful biceps and muscles? and everything? No, he had muscular dystrophy. He was deteriorating for year after year. But his mind was beautiful. I'm always going to remember the Doolittle Raid that he, he gave a speech on. I'm always going to remember being in school, listening to his history and how much he loved Russia and the Boy Scouts. It wasn't about what he looked like or him being able to send a picture to somebody. It was about who he was and how he had kindness. He may be extreme left or whatever, but he didn't care what political party you were part of. He didn't care. He just cared that you understood his point of view, and then he would listen to your point of view. And you know what? You may not have agreed, but I guarantee you he'd take you out, buy you beer, buy you supper, invite you over to play poker, because all he cared that you were happy. And even though you differ, differ from each other, he was a beautiful man inside, and he'll always be my friend. My father's taught me nothing but kindness as I grow up, which is Gracie's grandpa. We've never once learned what hate was or what a person's color of skin was. To me, everybody's green. To me, you know, everybody is the same as long as they're kind and good to each other. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. To me, everybody's equal. Everybody can do the same thing. And we've got to learn to treat everybody like equals and quit attacking everybody just because they don't have the same viewpoints. That's my. This is the daily reflections for this week. Look at the children we're grazing. If we keep, if we cannot learn to turn the other cheek, they're not going to learn to take, turn the other cheek. It's got to stop somewhere. And that's the reason why I keep my social media positive. Sometimes there might be some sad things because people die and we have a close-knit community where I'm at. And in the Marine Corps, we got a close-knit community to where we let everybody know what's going on. But I tell you what, even my worst enemy or people that think they're my worst enemy, they're not. I would give out, if you need a kidney, I'll give you a kidney. You need a lung, I'll give you a lung. You need a friend, I'll be a friend. I'll be a friend. <laughs> almost makes me want to cry. But you got to understand, we must reach out to people more and more. That is my daily reflection for tonight. Now today... Well, now we're on. Um, we, if you're not religious, that's fine. I understand and I respect that. But I like to say a prayer. I say a Hail Mary and Our Father, and I'm going to say a quick prayer. 
okay? And I'm going to say a prayer for our men and women in military that they get the help they need and that you actually go out there. I want to send you my blessing that you go out there and you talk to these people, whether they want to be talked to or not, because they're not going to bring their problems to you. I promise you they're not going to bring their problems to you. But if you go out there and just shake their hand, maybe that's all I need. Go out there and be kind to my brothers and sisters. Go out there and the, from the old, from Vietnam, the Korea, to World War II. I think we're even done with the World War I vets now, but I think we're almost losing all the World War II vets. How about the first desert storm? Afghanistan, Iraq, okay, Kuwait, okay? Just go out there and be kind to people. I'm also going to say a prayer for all of our men and women that wear blue, you know, our sheriffs, our police, our detectives, okay, they need somebody that, I want to send my blessing to them because they're good people, they got families at home, they got kids at home, and every time we attack them, we're attacking their families and stuff, but guess what, they're doing the jobs that you and I are not doing, and every time we need them, we may be attacking them, but then all of a sudden we're going to get on the phone and call for the exact same thing we just attacked them for, we need to understand that they're human beings too, do some of them do stupid things? Yes. But are most of them good? Yes. There's always going to be 1% to 2% of anything or anywhere we go where some people are not always going to be the greatest. You know, you're always going to get bullied. You're always going to be that person that's corrupt. But you know what? You don't have to be. Next, I want to say a prayer for all of our firefighters out there, the men and women that are volunteer firefighters that work for police or that work for the cities, that work for the counties. They're out there and they take the calls. You never know. They're going to save our family members while putting them their lives in danger. Okay. All the school teachers, every school teacher everywhere, they are beautiful people and they're great. And also our nurses, our nurse practitioners. And our doctors, we need to make sure we leave them in. All of our truck drivers out there, every single person that drives a truck out there that hauls our goods and services that are on the road every single day, there's no safety nets if they get in a wreck. There's nobody going to catch them if they fall. We need to make sure we say a prayer for them. For all those people out there that make society running smoothly, that's who we're praying for, okay? I go far sometimes, don't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So if everybody, if you're not religious, just shut your eyes and wish good thoughts on all these people. If you are religious, whatever, whoever, whatever you do, just follow along, pray with us. But let me give you my blessing. I was told in the night that I can actually do that. And I want to get, ask you guys for your blessing. Now the very first thing that I've been learning before I start this prayer is the prayer of Jabez. Ask God to bless you ask God to stretch your territory ask God to keep evil from you now if everybody still pray, say a prayer with me now father and the son and the holy spirit amen Wait. father son, son. holy <laughs> spirit amen. no 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 you do son, it son holy spirit yeah, you're so going backwards in the mirror no father son that way holy no, spirit I would go no this way. you do not this is you go this way I go the Crazy. Okay. Our son, Holy Spirit, anyway. Still teaching. All right. Dear God in heaven, please watch over our men and women in the military. Please watch over all of our veterans, our past, our retired veterans. Please watch over everyone that's been in combat, that's been out of combat. Please watch over everyone that assists all of our men and women in combat. Please watch over all of our police officers. That they get home safe. We know they're on the beat 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And that we know that 90, that all of them are good. And they need to get home safe. Please protect them and give them your shield to watch over them. Please be with all the firefighters. That they are safe every day. And they save people and they help people. Please be with all the emergency medical technicians. Please be with all of our nurses. Because every day they deal with our sick and our dying. Please be with all of our doctors, our nurse practitioners, that their hands are steady and just, and their diagnosis are spot on. Please, God, be with all of our leaders, that they lead us to the promised land, that they lead us to where we need to be, and they that they are touched by you, so that when we follow, we know that we're following in your footsteps. God, please be with all those tonight that are die dying, that are suffering, that they, our lives are celebrated, and their families celebrate their lives while they're still living. And then please be with those that have lost loved ones, that we celebrate the people that we have lost.
because they do not want us to be sad. God, please be with all of our children. Please, God, put food on people's plates, put roofs over people's heads, coats on people's backs. Please help those that are looking for work find jobs. Please help those that are depressed get out of their depression and know that happiness is just around the corner. Please be with all those single parents out there that they know that their job is hard, but it is worthwhile. Please be with those people tonight that feel they have nobody, that they are not alone. We pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory yours, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining Gracie and I. Is there anything else you'd like to add? You getting tired? You getting sleepy? Anyway, just know this. This is what I'm going to leave you with. Each one of you matters. Each one of you is important. Each one of you has made a difference in somebody's life. Each one of you will make a difference in somebody's life. The best days are ahead of you. The past is already the past. Remember to forgive your enemies. Remember to forgive your friends. Ask forgiveness from your enemies. Ask forgiveness from those that have hurt you. Put in the past those things that you cannot do nothing about. And remember what makes you great is your past. But you the best are. days are ahead of you. You are great. You are strong. You believe. <laughs> Every one of you understand this. You are loved. You matter. You make a difference. Go out there and make a difference in more people's lives. God bless everybody. Thank you for joining my daughter and I tonight. I love her with my entire heart. She's a good kid. She even got a new Bible today. I'm praying for each one of you guys. I love you guys. God bless. And if you need anything at all, just send me an email. Give me a call. Say a prayer. Whatever it takes. I'll do my best for you. Bye, Bye everybody.